Hello, everybody, and welcome to Education Bite number 113, dated November 23rd, 2020. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This Education Bite is entitled Ex Post Facto Laws. Maybe you've heard of these, maybe you have not. Maybe you've heard of these and just don't know what they are. Well, allow me to explain. Ex post facto laws are laws which retroactively punish an action, thereby criminalizing an action that was otherwise legal when it was performed. Let me say that one more time. Ex post facto laws are laws which retroactively or after the fact punish an action, thereby criminalizing something that was otherwise perfectly fine to do when it was done. That should obviously strike at the conscience of anyone who is interested in true justice. And that is why ex post facto laws are banned in the United States of America via the U.S. Constitution. They are specifically prohibited at the federal level via Article 1, Section 9 of the U.S. Constitution, and at the state level, via Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. Allow me to give you a great example of an ex post facto law. Let's say that our friend Thomas here, who is a resident of any U.S. state of your choice, decides to go deer hunting one day. Thomas is an avid deer hunter. Uh, he's a very busy man, so he doesn't get to do it very often. But when he does, he's all game. So Thomas goes deer hunting. And according to the state law, any deer which are killed in any state park or hunting ground have to be registered with the local ranger's office uh, in that park or hunting ground if you take away the carcasses. Uh, which is what's done in most circumstances, okay? So Thomas goes out hunting uh, one day, let's say November of 2020, and he kills three deer and takes all three home, all right? Uh, pursuant to the state law, Thomas registers his three deer carcasses with the local ranger's office, and he now goes on record of having killed three deer and taken three carcasses home. The purpose of the registration is to keep records, obviously, of how many deer are being hunted and taken away. All right? So, with that being said, that's the end of Thomas's hunting endeavors for the year. As like I said, he's a very busy guy, doesn't have time to do it very often. Uh, and he goes back on the road, no more hunting. So, the following year, okay, let's say March of 2021, okay, the state legislature uh, enacts a law which outlaws deer hunting entirely in the state for any reason. No more deer hunting, okay? The law specifically prohibits any deer hunting uh, once the law is signed uh, by the governor. And it also has a provision that criminalizes, or rather makes anyone who has hunted deer in the past year in the state criminally liable for violating that law. Even though deer hunting was perfectly legal in the state before the enactment of that law. Okay? Anyone see a problem with that? Yeah, me too. It's perfectly fine and legal for the state to prohibit deer hunting and to prohibit it after the enactment of that law and the uh, uh, execution of that law, all right? Once that law goes into effect, anyone who continues to deer hunt is obviously subject to criminal penalties pers pursuant to the language of the law itself. However, the law having the design to make anyone criminally liable for deer hunting who had hunted in the past year before the law was enacted is absolutely positively unjust and illegal. When those people who hunted deer in the previous year hunted deer, it was perfectly legal to do so. And thus, the law that has been enacted by the state is obviously unconstitutional. 
okay, as it criminalizes an action targeting certain people, all right, who committed that action when the action itself was legal, okay? So thus Thomas, our deer hunter in this story, now could face criminal prosecution because he hunted deer when it was perfectly legal. But now, with this new law, it is illegal. And not only does that law prohibit future hunting, but it also criminalizes past hunting for people who did it when it was legal. But now that it's illegal, they're going backwards to hold people criminally liable who committed the act when it was legal. Nothing about that is just, okay? And that's why if a law as such were enacted, it would automatically be ruled unconstitutional if the state attempted to prosecute anyone under such a law, okay? Because it is an ex post facto law. It is criminalizing an action that was otherwise legal when it was performed. So Thomas, hunting deer in the previous year when it was perfectly legal, could not be prosecuted under that law. As such, if he were, he would certainly have grounds to appeal and have the law ruled unconstitutional. All right? And it would almost certainly, almost guarantee 100% go just that way. Okay? So neither the states nor the federal government are allowed to retroactively punish people for actions that were otherwise completely legal when they were committed. Ex post facto laws are considered a profound violation of justice and cannot stand in our system. Okay? So that's an example of an ex post facto law. Okay? The law not only punishing future uh, deer hunting, which is perfectly legal to do, all right, because that's taking place after it was criminalized. However, the laws reach in the past attempting to prosecute people who hunted deer when it was perfectly legal to do so is illegal and unconstitutional. As they have Thomas's records on file, having that he killed three deer, they could easily pull those records and thus see that he hunted three deer and thus attempt to prosecute him unlawfully. All right. So that's why we can't do things like that in our system. Ex post facto laws are illegal and void. All right. Specifically banned in our national constitution. And if it is banned in our national constitution, obviously it is something that is very important in the interests of justice. Okay. So no one, whether on the state or federal level, is subject to prosecution for something that they did when it was perfectly legal. Attempting to do so is an ex post facto law, and it is illegal and unconstitutional. Okay, Once again, prohibited uh, in the U.S. Constitution to the federal government via Article 1, Section 9 of the U.S. Constitution, and to the states via Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. These are, once again, folks, ex post facto laws. Laws which retroactively punish an action, thereby criminalizing conduct that was otherwise perfectly legal when it was performed. Any questions, controversies, leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube page, I would graciously appreciate it if you did so. Just hit that little red button, subscribe, and we're in business. Take care, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you at the next bite. Peace.